it's a good question and one that uh, kind of I don't think about maybe enough. But when I when I left Princeton and I went to Columbia, I was um, invited to be to run their slide library at, at Columbia, which was which was massive and um, interesting and used by all the scholars who were writing their uh, writing their books and articles used by lecturers who were giving talks at those days with the slides. And so it was, it was managing, making, and kind of supervising this, this team that, uh, that kept the, that kept the flow of, of images, at least going through, going through the architecture faculty at Columbia. And, um, However, I, while I was at Columbia, I was working uh, part-time at IM Pei, which later became um, uh, Pei Capreed and, uh, and then Pei Partners. And then the, the, that job, I, I had always considered that I would be a practicing architect and that I would be probably a, an architect who practiced, but also was interested in the, and kind of contributing to the to the historical side of this. So I, I worked closely at Columbia with Bob Stern, with Ken Frampton, with some of their, the, the Mary McLeod was a, a, a very important mentor of mine. And as I went to work and worked for pay, I um, learned how to, you know, how to practice. And I, after graduation, I went and worked in London for KPF, Cohen Pedersen Fox International, and then for Zaha Hadid. And I was, you know, con and then I came back to New York after working for them and work and, and made furniture with Gaetano Pesce and worked briefly in, in Bob Stern's office on a, um, a Holocaust memorial project in lower Manhattan. And, and the idea was always to be a practitioner. And so when I moved to Miami, I, I started to work for Architectonica. But I also kind of encountered people here that I had known in New York. Uh, one was Camilo Rosales, who I had met at Pay at I Pay's office, and one was, uh, and another was Claudia Bush, who was here um, uh, and had started teaching at, at a place I had never heard of, which was FIU. And so it was a combination of of kind of. Uh, serendipity and uh, good fortune and interest that kind of brought me to FIU when I happened to have a, a resume that they were interested in in um, supporting. So when I came, they were interested in the fact that I had worked for these relatively well-known people that helped me to get the job. And then when I when I arrived, the um, the work that I really started to do was to connect connect the um, the, the practice of architecture to its context, to, to its historical context. So I started, I was primarily teaching studio and, uh, and design, but I also taught other things. I taught lighting and history and other things. 